Well, hello everyone, Stucker you here, and welcome back to a Victoria 3 game, which honestly, it feels still kind of odd, the fact that I'm playing this and not Hearts of Iron 4. But I really do want to switch things up and add more games in, and this, this is, this is beautiful, baby. This is, this, this is a beautiful little thing. Now, I saw a lot of the comments that were in the previous video asking different questions over economics, warfare, diplomacy, all kinds of different things. Don't worry, we are going to get into that. We are going to be going through and we're going to be looking at all different kinds of aspects of the game, how to make money, how to not die, which can happen fairly easily, especially depending on what kind of nation you actually choose. Basically, every nation in here has some kind of advantage or disadvantage. There are some that have large markets, some that have small markets, some with good educated populations, others without. But now as an example, if you choose Learn the Game, then one of the recommended nations that they recommend to start as in the beginning is Belgium. Because Belgium is one of those states that the Industrial Revolution is really starting to take hold in it. It's small, easy to manage overall, but there's a couple things that can still confuse you with how to manage the economy. I found a way in the beginning that just kind of, um, allows Belgium to become one of the richest powers in the world fairly quickly. But I'm not going to choose this one because I don't want the game rules to make everything so that the AI is more lenient towards me. No, 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 no. We're going at this natural. So sandbox mode, and let's get Belgium in here. Now, interestingly enough, if you look at the history of Belgium, Belgium had broken free from the Dutch because you had the whole issue with Napoleon and all that other crap years prior. But now, ironically, Belgium is well, well more off than the Netherlands actually are. Like, you look at this. We have over a million more people. Our GDP is double what the Netherlands is. Really, the only difference, like, the only better thing they have than us is a slightly higher literacy rate. But other than that, Belgium is just overwhelmingly superior. I have so many Dutch people in my Discord that are probably going to be pissed when saying that. But anyway, let's just go ahead and hop in. Now, the interesting thing to note about Belgium from the beginning is that we have our own Belgian market. Uh, the issue is that the Belgian market is very small. It pretty much only in, it deals with us, and that's it. If you go and look at our varying relations here, we do already have a trade agreement with the United Kingdom. And while we are rival to the Netherlands, we do have a truce which is actually going to end rather quickly. We are the 16th rank great power, which actually we're not a great power, we're a minor power, but don't worry, we're gonna be able to get ourselves up here soon enough. And to that end, this is a strategy that I found will make you way more productive than you currently are. We go to London, go to diplomacy, interactions. Oh look, we can join their customs union. What this means is that we are going to join the British market and no longer be beholden to the limitations of our very small Belgian market, which honestly, great thing, we're just gonna go ahead and do. We're also going to improve relations with Britain. We're going to go over here and improve relations with France and also Prussia. We're going to use all of our diplomatic power, but it, it doesn't matter. What we're doing right now is we're improving diplomatic relations with all powers around us, all the great powers. We want them to be friendly towards us because we don't want them to attack us here. All right, research. We want to get our production going immediately. Best thing that we can possibly do, what we're going to shoot for is clothing. Clothing and furniture. For anyone who doesn't know, this region historically, with like the Flemish as an example here out of Flanders, this was one of the largest industries in the world for like cloth production, right? The Flemish markets were ridiculous for that. We're going to recreate it, baby. Paris fashion show? No. Brussels. That's what we're doing. And on that note, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to boost our construction sector because that's going to be necessary. We'll build it right out of Flanders here since that's our capital and that's what we're going to get a lot of bonuses for. And now, my friends, let's go ahead and begin. There you go. Great Britain has accepted our offers to join their customs union. What that means is that we are now in the British market. So there is no Belgian market anymore. We are part of the British market, which means that all these different prices, everything that you can see here, these are now our prices. So you can see tools. You can see that everything in here is going to become way more expensive and better to produce. Except for the raw resources, of which since the British Empire is fairly significant already, we have a large amount of resources at our disposal now to support our industry. So you can see the first thing, groceries became way more expensive. Let's see what we can do here. All right, build that out of Flanders. We're just going to expand what we already have and support our own industry. At the same time now, check this out. We have textile mills and we have furniture ma manufacturers. These are going to become the big money makers. All of a sudden, luxury clothes, way more valuable because we are in the British market. So we're not just selling luxury clothes to our own rich people. We're selling them to the hoity-toity British. So craftsman sewing, that's what we want. Also, luxury furniture? No, precision tools. We're going to use even more tools, and we're going to switch that over. Everything is going to be made more valuable. So clothing, get that going, and Flanders, we're just going to build, like, I don't know, three of those right now, and we're just going to heavily focus on that. Expensive government good. Tools, we do have that. So let's see. Tools, ooh, all of a sudden, that is going to be way more valuable. And Wallonia, yes, you can go ahead and expand your tool market production. Now we just sit back, put it on speed five, and let things happen. 
Also, we have the authority, so we're going to go ahead and encourage manufacturing industry right now because that is going to give a 20% bonus to manufacturing. As soon as we do that, you're going to see that all of a sudden our stuff for our uh, textile mills, way more valuable now. Because we have that 20% bonus for input here. We do need some more silk, though. Free trade party. Yep, that's kind of what we anticipated to happen in the first place. There we go. Free trade and liberals. That's what we want right now. Because, baby, we're going to focus heavily on our markets. All right, canneries are done. That means we get mechanized workshops immediately because anything that we can do to increase the ability of our textile mills, the better. This is going to make them way more profitable. All right, a couple years passed. We got all that stuff built here now. And our economy is doing pretty good. It's only been like a year or two. As you can see from building our textile mills, we have the sixth most productive textile mill in the entire world. And that is only going to get better with time as we get technology. Now, one of the really expensive things that we see here is furniture. So expand that a few times and we get that set. And look at this. It's been three years. Our GDP has almost doubled. And now at this point, we boost our industry so much that we're going to be suffering from tax capacity. So we get some government administration and plop it down on Flanders since that's what really needs it. And let's just go ahead and get some more education, because I think that we can afford it. The more we educate our population, the faster we research things. We're just going to make this better and better. Credit where credit is due. The recent investment in Flanders' production of our food industries has raised the question of who should get the credit for this massive boost in production. Well, it's the industrialists, clearly. Mechanized workshops. That is what we wanted, baby. So now we go over here to nitroglycerin and start improving what we're going to need for our uh, mining. Because now that we have that, baby, we can go over here, textile mills, change this. Dye workshop? No, sewing machine. 2.9k more productive. Also, mechanized looms and mechanized workshops for furniture manufacturing. Look at how productive that is. And just like that, four years, January 7th, 1840, we have the most productive textile mill in the entire world, and it is number two. It is the second most productive building in the entire world. That quickly. I mean, this generates a ridiculous amount of wealth. I mean, baby, we have to. Just keep on pumping it in here in Flanders. Just keep on expanding. And so if you go to our textile mill, you go and check the workforce. Oh, lo and behold, look at this. The capitalists who own it have lavish lifestyles. Very, very wealthy, mind you. But even going down all the way into laborers, like the fact that the regular lowly laborers working in this industry are middle class is just beautiful. All right, now I just saw something pop up that said that the standard of living in Flanders decreased, which I don't understand. It's way too wealthy. So you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We don't need all this money now. We're going to go over here to our budget. And we're going to lower taxes way down. We don't need it. We don't need it. Let the people live. Let them enjoy their lives. And now, lo and behold, standard of living increased. Textile mill is going to support our entire business venture. Which, of course, means that the free trade party wins by an overwhelming majority because it's just a huge amount of support. So we don't need to reform the government at all. And so since we're doing good, let's do the poor laws. Let's support our lower classes. Hey, okay, now we have poor laws. There we go. Supporting the people, that's what we're here for. Industry, baby. All right, low market access. That means that we're going to need to start building up some of these uh, railroads then. All right, there's nitroglycerin, which means that we can now move on. Let's see, what else? I guess glass. I, I don't really know yet. But you can see just how wealthy our people are getting now. Honestly, and we're just going to switch over all of our logging camps over here and everything to railroads. Nationalism, okay. That's, that's going to lead to some fun here in the future. My god, in the textile mills, the laborers are secure, the machinists are prosperous, the shopkeepers are affluent. It's just so wealthy. And now propertied women. Yes, women's rights, baby, that's what we want. Wait, why is our population decreasing? Like, shouldn't we be increasing with everything that we've done? God dang, the Liberal Party just has overwhelming majority support. Wow, alright, 100% government legitimacy. We are, we are just really dominating. The moment that you're producing wealth, you can just do everything anything it seems like water tube boiler all right fantastic that means we can go over here and we can start upgrading everything baby propertied women there we go that's what we want that gives us more workers now we should be able to look at doing some other laws let's see police force yes we are going to need a police force uh dedicated one absolutely especially since we want to avoid those radicals Ooh, whoa wait playwright so we can get some bonuses dedicated towards passing the dedicated police force or we could just get a flat 20 prestige that would bump us well above the Dutch if we wanted to really do that. I will pass the police force. Let's get that prestige. That is going to bump up our rankings here. But yes, now everything becomes way more productive. Engine pumps, get it going. Days of sickness. Oh, Lord. Relations towards the Dutch East Indies. Uh, Belgian infamy. Wait, so they're asking me for help? They're my rival. Fine, fine. We'll help. I, d I don't care. Hey, there's that police force. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and start prepping for some... um. I'm going to use the term Belgian fun of the Congo, but please, for the love of God, do not hate me for that. Wait, we can declare more? Oh my lord, 
It has been less than a decade, and we rose from position number 16 to number 9. We are the number 9th most powerful entity in the world. The textile mills in Flanders have seen an increase in workplace injuries due to increased mechanization and poor safety regulations. So, shit. Wait a minute, that's gonna really hurt my economy. No, we cannot pull the brakes on Congre on progress. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that is literally where 90% of my income comes from. If I decrease the throughput by 50%, this one place alone is responsible for like all of my income. All right, and now glass works, I guess. I, d I don't, genuinely don't know here. I guess we still have a ton of population in Flanders. So there, let's build like six of them. I don't know. It seems like it's expensive. So I think we can build a lot. Burning ashes, the drop in temperature caused by the volcanic eruption has ruined the crops of all the nation and the farmers of Flanders beg for help. Oh my lord, how has it done that to me? Wait, I just realized we have the number one GDP per capita in the world. Damn, it is those textile mills, baby. Crystal glass, bone china. There you go, this is what we're gonna want. Oh my god, now glassworks is ridiculously productive. Okay, okay. We're not going to build the other two, though. We're going to wait to make sure that it's profitable first. The Great Garment Factory for- No! Why does this game hate textiles? Please! A deadly fire killed many workers in Flanders due to dangerous working conditions. Oh, Lord. Wait, why does the armed forces- It's been revealed that Carl de Durinder, a prominent member of the armed forces, was the owner of this factory. Military, how dare you? I- Don't hurt my factories, please. Please. Holy crap, we are the number one glassworks in the world, or no, most productive? Look at our population becoming super wealthy. Urbanized Belgium completed. A. Okay, and we did it. Flanders has come a long way since attention was first brought to it, going from small houses and scattered farmlands being on its way to becoming a blooming metropolis. We can get urban center building throughput or more loyalists. Get me more, more, more loyalists. I want people to love me. Love my government, baby. Oh my god, wait, when did my steel mills become productive? My iron mines stopped being productive. Wait, for the first time my furniture manufacturing is no longer productive. No! Because hardwood is very expensive. Oh no, oh no, 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 that's why. Uh-oh, we are going to need to decrease that price fast. I cannot have my furniture industry fail. That is one of the biggest industries in my entire world. Rotary valve, oh god, all of my industries are starting to falter a little bit. Improved fertilizer. Use more coal, less laborers. Yeah, make that make it more profitable. I hope. Doesn't look like it is doing anything, but that, that's what we need. Steel is way more productive now, though. Oh, wow. I, for the first time in quite a while, am losing money. Okay. That is, uh, that's not, that's not good. It's not good. There we go. The logging camp, this will help drive down the price so we can produce more hardwood. That hardwood should help the price here so that... There we go. F furniture manufacturing, it's back. That was, not gonna lie, that was actually kind of scary. That was really hurting us there for a little bit for our population. There we go, there's the money coming back in. Fantastic. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Liberal Party is in. Fantastic. All right, they are still at very high legitimacy. There's really nothing that is affecting us here now at this point. So let's see, laws, what can we do? It is possible to push for wage subsidies, but it's not really going to be successful. Per capita taxation, proportional taxes, what would that do? Projected revenue, 31.1. What is our 21.5? Whoa, so despite that... So wait a minute, proportional taxes and mainly income-based tax that tries to ensure everyone pays a roughly equal share of their income to the state. This one is significantly better. And then graduated taxes, the wealthier they are, the burden taxation primarily on the well-to-do through high dividend taxes. If I want better income, I need to go for proportional taxation so that I can help my lower classes. But also cultural exclusion and multiculturalism. Before we do some expansion, this could be a good thing. I don't know. Census suffrage will get more people involved. We don't necessarily need that. Free trade, all this. No, we don't need any of that just yet. No, public schools. We're going with more education. More education, more support for the lower classes. We're going to boost these up and make it even better. Die works accident. I hate this event. I got this last time. I hate you. I hate you so much. We now have public schools. Okay, fantastic. Get people more educated. Get that support going. It has been like 13 years, we've already gone up to almost 60% literacy rate. Wait, losing power ranking. Oh, whoa, we are dropping. We have the number one steel mill in the world. How? Guess I can expand it twice. Damn. All right. All right, we're going to go for proportional taxes. We're going to try and start doing stuff to boost our income. We are going to need this as we are going to use it, considering how wealthy we are, specifically to boost our economy and simultaneously to be able to use on war 
Whoa, wait, that succeeded? Damn, I did not anticipate that. Okay, well that worked. That means that we can now go in here and we can subsidize all these industries that are hurting us. Actually, wait. My furniture manufacturing is no longer very productive. Oh no! Oh no, this is no longer very productive. Oh no! Quick, start exporting. All right, we are sending our goods everywhere. Wait, Luxembourg is in the Russian market? Wh why? What? What is your diplomacy like? You are in a personal union with the Netherlands, but you're part of the Russian mar market? What? Guys, I'm thinking I'm feeling like conquering the Netherlands now. But in order to get there, we're gonna have to change our laws so that we have a professional army. That's gonna piss off the rural folk and it's gonna piss off the trade unionists, but we have the industry now that I think that we could definitely support it. It's fine. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, baby. God, if I wanted to increase my tax by one, that's another 10K. I, I think that we're gonna be in a good position. Okay, it looks like the, the Trade Center is constantly hiring than firing people, and I don't like that. So we're, we're gonna subsidize it, see if we can help support this a little bit. Oh my god, that is expensive. Improve fertilizer, okay. We need to make sure that our trade is good, we want to support that because we're gonna use it in order to be able to conquer things. Alright, that's improved fertilizer, so now, next step, steam donkey baby. Huh, looks like the Netherlands is starting to go a little bit radical, interesting. All right, the armed forces, they are loyal to me. Their clout is very low, actually. Whoa, wait, we succeeded? We had like a 15% chance, awesome. Well, I did not anticipate getting it that quickly. All right, that means buildings, we're gonna need to start developing things, baby. Barracks, let's pump you up by five and you by 15. It's gonna spend a lot of money, but it's fine because we are going to do some conquering here. God, my GDP is starting to really slow down, I think. Whoa, wait, my lower class is becoming poorer? Why? What is the issue? Gra grain has gotten more expensive. Really? And clothing. Okay, everything is way more expensive now. I guess it's probably because of all the exports. Oh my god, though, fertilizers plus 9,000 in terms of revenue? Holy lord. It's gonna produce way more wheat, which, will tr which should drive down the cost. Dear lord, we are, we are spending quite a bit there. How? God, you can just see our GDP fluctuating wildly now. But, 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 we have fertilizer. Fertilizer means, wait, our chemical plants are finally starting to do something. Improve fertilizers. We produce more fertilizer if we did that. Mmm, but do we want more farms? Do we need that? The glassworks for the first time is actually starting to lose out on productive trade routes. Okay, we'll cease that. But now we have way more productive fertilizer, so we'll start shipping that out. And I think we can produce more wheat. Fantastic. Now let's get this military going, baby! We are actually almost up there in terms of, uh, money. <laughs> We're near our maximum amount. Okay, so now we should be earning less. We can go ahead and get our military stuff built up. Fantastic. Also another construction sector. I think that that's going to be necessary. Stockpiling gold. That is not what I wanted here. Okay, well, budget. We just, we want to spend more money, I guess. We'll, um, make the military happy. Pay everything. There we go. Now let's, let's lose a little bit of money. It's fine. We're paying really high wages to the government, but the whole purpose of this is to just kind of decrease things for the economy a little bit. We're still in the po- How are we maintaining all this stuff for still being in the positives? Hardwood expensive again? It's okay. I think one of the other things that this does is that it drastically puts our troops in employment. Oh, they're starting to lose a bit. Okay, well, we'll subsidize. We'll subsidize. If it, if it gets bad, we subsidize. It's fine. Chemical plants. How is this still not very profitable? Improve fertilizer. We produce more fertilizer, but we don't need much fertilizer. Because I guess I don't have much in the way of farms. So there's no reason to really give out a bunch of fertilizer. Oh my god, we are making so much money again. This is not what I wanted. It sounds so weird to say, but it's not what I want. So expand the construction sector again. I don't know. All right, this will be the last boost here for the military. Once we have that constructed, then I think we're set. Liberal Party, once again, seizing so much power. Dear Lord, we, we, ah, oh, that is so strong. Child labor laws, restricted child labor. Yes, yes, that's what we want. Make our children happy. Oh, look at that construction, getting this going. Really, the moment that you start having a ton of money, you just need to start building things in terms of construction because it takes away so much money. It is such a massive drain, but you then build things super quickly and you can get rid of all this excess that you don't need anymore. Repeaters, there we go, all right. That means we're gonna switch this over to repeating rifles so that we have even better stuff for the military. And we're gonna subsidize this because we're probably gonna end up needing a lot of arms for what it is that we're gonna be doing. Whoo, that is some very productive furniture. Okay, fantastic. I'll expand that once. Textiles, expand that once, get that going. And let's expand some coal mines, baby. Because wait, what is our actual military like? We have 40 units for our army. How many does the Netherlands have? Wait, the Netherlands is a protectorate of Russia? When the hell did that happen? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a damn minute. You cheeky bastards. 
Russia, why are you trying to protect the Netherlands? You are already trying to go over here and eat Prussia? Is that Prussia that you're fighting? Wait, what? Greater Poland. What is the state of war that Russia is in right now? Of Prussia versus Oldenburg, which means that they're fighting Russia. Guys, this is my opportunity. This is the opportunity. You take on the Amsterdam. You take the Dutch out. The Russians are currently getting eaten by the Prussians, so this is the perfect opportunity. Let's damage relations with Luxembourg, because we're more than likely getting them going after them. Steam donkey. Okay, there we go. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and get some dynamite. And then while we're waiting to actually do things, now I think it's time to really start improving our own dedicated country, I guess. University. Expand that by two. Wallonia, expand that by two. We are going to really increase all of our population. Wait, France has declared us their rival. Why? France! France, why? All right, fine. You're my rival now too, I guess. Restricted child labor, yes, that's what we want. Politics, institutions, more education. Also more police. We are definitely gonna need that too. Ooh, we are really draining those gold reserves now. It's kind of, I mean, I guess it's what I wanted, but also, ah. Uh, there goes the government, well expanded. Uh, now I go, we can decrease government wages. Yes, also the army, so we can get ourselves boosted up here again. Luxury clothing, rather expensive. Wow, okay. All right, now if we wanna start doing some colonization, that means we need to go over here to institution, and we need to, oh, we don't even have it yet. Go to laws, where is it? No colonial affairs, can we do one of these? No, we can't, why? Oh, because I'm still working on enacting restricted child labor. Now, the children can work for now, we need to colonize. That sounds so bad. Steamers input good shortage, wait, steamers? How the hell do we produce steamers? Shipyards. I mean, I guess I can produce some in Flanders? I don't, I don't know what else to do necessarily there. They seem valuable, though. Let's produce a shipyard and just test it out and see. Maybe I can just ship those elsewhere since there may not be a demand myself. The Radical Party has formed. Lovely. Wait, election results are in. The The Radical Party has 100% of the vote? What does that mean? So the Industrialist and the Intelligentsia are the Radical Party. Guys, what the hell did I do? Um, my king is an alcoholic. Is that why you hate me and you have a guillotine there? Oh, I completely forgot that I can't build steamships because I don't have the technology yet. Meaning this whole shipyard thing was just a little bit of a waste. Fang begins conscription. Britain, are you trying to step in on my territory here? Fine, looks like I'm going to have to go after Lo Loango, whatever the hell it is. This is supposed to be mine. Because goddammit, if I tried to attack the Netherlands now, I would end up being at war with Russia, Denmark, Luxembourg, everyone. Damn it. Wow, I have minus 95% from severe malaria and minus 50% colonial growth from colonial slowdown. So I anticipate getting this done by 1911. Fantastic. God, the Germans are doing their little thing over here and conquering. Steel frame buildings. Oh, that is way more expensive to produce. But holy God, no wonder glass got super expensive in the British market. Okay, wait, since when did 9% of our population become Polish? What? We got electricity, baby. Well, if I wanted to, now at this point, I could try to go and conquer the state of Luxembourg. If I did, the Netherlands would side against me. Interesting. Potentially, Russia would do it, too. So you know what, just for the sake of the fight, let's give ourselves a little bit of a boost and see how that goes. So you know what, Luxembourg? Why don't I take you over? If maybe, you know, just seeing what you have to say. Let's see, sway countries. Could I sway anything? I could sway Italy to support me. Is that it? Would Britain not join? Russia has committed to supporting. Maybe I could sway Italy? Offer obligation? Italy is supporting me. Okay, Italy is supporting me in my endeavors. So it's gonna be me and Italy versus Russia and Luxembourg in the Netherlands. <laughs> All right, here we go, baby. We're at war. Wait, why the fuck did Ching join in in this war? All right, baby, let's see what we can do then. Ooh, we are doing some good damage on them. There you go, buddies, there you go. Wait, how are we winning so readily if their defense is that high? Oh, because a bunch of those troops are from the Qing and their Qing troops are crap. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, 79 troops are in transfer, I'm sure, over from Russia. Come on, we just need to advance as quickly as we possibly can. Oh, what do we have here? Let's go! Oh, we are being pushed back here. Uh-oh. Yep, there in come the Russians. Okay. Ooh, ooh, we are starting to get beat back a little bit. All right. Oh, wait, capitulation. War goals were enforced on the Qing. Okay. All right, that's going to remove some of their power base. We should be able to start making advances now, I think. Come on, there you go. There you go, buddy. Come on, let's go. It's like, I know that I'm watching it. I'm not, I'm not participating as much, but it's kind of exciting seeing what the AI is going to do at different points. Oh, my Italian brothers are really getting their butts beat. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Beat those Russians. 
Woo! Netherlands does not agree to the peace deal. Interesting, because your overlord Russia is very willing to capitulate now. You're driven down to the last spot. And there you go. War. Goal. Done. My friends, may I give you the burned and destroyed newer, larger Belgium. Oh boy. Everything is kind of on fire now, actually. All right, well, we're going to promote national values. We're going to violently suppress them. Yes. And in Luxembourg's ba case, now we're, we're already good. All right, so we're, we're just, we're just going to try to incorporate all these new Dutch people that are now proud Belgians. I am going to receive so many hateful comments for this. But yeah, that, I would not have been able to do that on my own because of Russia joining in. So I'm very happy. Thank you, Italians, for your lovely support. There may be secessionist movements of Dutch people here uh, in Gilray who are not happy about being part of me, but hey, it is what it is. You're, you're part of my country now. Did they start a secession against me? Civil war. Really? Really? All I tried to do was a little bit of police brutality, actually. Ugh. This is um probably the most simple thing that is actually going to happen in here, because they managed to get no outside help, and we sent in one force which just crushed their one army that they had. Wait, what? The Belgian Workers Party took the lead? How? Wait, what? Uh-oh, it's supported by laborers, machinists, engineers, clerks. Well, this one is gonna be rather interesting then. Egalitarianism and the proletariat. Okay, well, um, looks like they're in charge and I can see if we can make some changes here then. Uh, yeah. Oh, and hey, lo and behold, all this stuff is getting significantly better for the other places now. All right, Germany is going hard on consolidation here. Um, I want them to be my friend. Germany, be my friend, please. Pump jack's done. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and get some shift works then. And then let's see. One of the things that I'm going to need to do, I'm pretty sure, down here, where the hell my buildings actually are, can I get rubber plantations? Rubber plantations, yes. We are going to produce some rubber. That's absolutely what we're going to do. Anarchism. I don't want anarchism, please. Echoes of revolution. A current of radical liberal thought is spreading internationally and has reached Belgium. Uh, uh, what constitutes radical in this case? No, no, we don't want that. We're at 50 million GDP. What are we looking in here? We are the 10th most powerful GDP. No, no, like the eighth most? Our GDP is ridiculous. We, as Belgium, we are just 5 million behind the United States. What? We now have regulatory bodies. Hey, all right, awesome. Should make population a little bit happier. Radical party, 100% of the vote. Again, I do not know how. I guess it's just because they control all things. It's like, the, I, I don't know what else to say. It's like the radical party is in control of everything because they're just like pumping out all this money. All right, we don't have a health system. I think I think it's finally time we start getting one then. Let's go with public health insurance. Just get that done. I think that we are at the point in our economy where we could probably afford it, to be honest. The engines of progress. More engines, more, more, more locomotives. And look at that, we now have public health insurance. Lovely stuff. Wait, if I attack the Netherlands now, I would also face the United States? Wait a damn minute. Oh boy, and now coal is finally skyrocketing in price now that everything is industrializing. Okay, we, we're going to expand this rapidly. We're just keep on going to pump up our coal mines here. That's, that we're going to need a lot of this. Because now I think it's finally time that we start building some power plants once that's done. Socialism unlocked. Gee, that's not lovely. Whew, okay, we can lower taxes now. Again, because we're, we're surging up there in terms of gold. Huh, meanwhile... It looks like there's high states of turmoil all across Germany. I wonder why. Police brutality. No, no, that's that's normal here. I'm sorry. It's, listen, I know it sounds weird, but we need them. Breach loading artillery. And now I think it's time that we start prepping for some military fun because we seem to be getting hemmed in on all sides and they don't really like that there's this powerful of a force in between them. Which means that it's time that we take the fight to the rest of the European powers. But all that being said, I think that I'm going to go ahead and end things here for today. If you would like to see Belgium go on to try and take out France, perhaps the Germans, even the British, then please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, put it down in the comment section below, and I will see you all here next time. This might be the first ever part two that I ever actually do, because uh, I haven't actually done one of those as a video. But Victoria 2 is probably one of those things that when showing how to build a nation, you're going to end up seeing the effects of what comes after. Whatever questions you have, whatever you want to know, please let me know down in the comment section below, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, guys.